Have you ever had a story that is so great that whenever you get with friends or family, you get together and you retell that story every single time? It makes everyone laugh, it brings tears to the eyes, it brings laughter to the heart, it brings, that, brings back memories that probably at the time were not a good time, but now it makes everyone laugh hysterically. Well, this is that story for me. This is our second family vacation with the Nichols. Our parents are very good friends. The middle son, Wade, he's my age and he's my best friend. And the youngest son, Tyler, he's my br little brother's age and they're very good friends as well. The place that we go vacation at is called Norris Lake, Tennessee. We the name of the marina is called Flat Hollow Marina. We stayed on a floating house. It, it's out in the middle of the lake. You have to drive your boat to the house and it's kind of like your car. The only problem is the basement's flooded. Throughout the week, we go fishing, tubing, wakeboarding, kneeboarding, or just cruise on the lake, we go swimming. Jeff's boat is called a Baja boat, and it's about 38 feet long. It's a huge speed boat, and goes really fast. Ours is just a little regal speed boat that's only 20 feet long, but it suits our family. The schedule of the week is just to have fun on the lake on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, we go to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Friday, it's always the 4th of July, so we go back on the lake and watch the fireworks. Well, Wade and I had different plans for the week. <laughs> Once Wednesday came around, our parents decided to go on a long boat ride that would go down to the dam. This is about a five to six hour round trip boat ride. During this time, Wade had decided to indulge himself in some alcohol. And I remember we were only 16 years old at the time. If my mind serves correctly, Wade had 11 double shots that he did not know were double shots and had two or three beers. I had one beer. Once the adults returned, I knew that I had to say something to them. So I told his older brother, Brandon, who was really cool with us at the time, and I told him, Brandon, Wade's upstairs and he's really drunk and I'm worried about him. <laughs> Thankfully, Brandon knew what to do because he was a college student and he went upstairs and turned Wade on his side. I thought the situation was taken care of and it was over, but I was really wrong. It was maybe a half hour later and I was walking around the house and I noticed Wade's mom, Paula, was very upset and was crying in her bed. I immediately knew that she knew what had happened. <laughs> I asked her, Paula, what's wrong? She replies with, oh, Wade just really upset me this time. It was almost immediately after this, I was called on the front porch awaiting Wade's stepdad and my dad. For some reason, I couldn't lie to my dad. He asked, did you drink, Blake? And I said, yeah, I only had one beer, though. And I thought he possibly couldn't be mad at me when my best friend's upstairs, drunk as a skunk, and I only had one beer. My dad asked, why did you drink a beer? And then I have no clue why, but I couldn't lie to him again. And I said, it tastes good. So. Immediately, my punishment was to go upstairs with my mom, Wade's mom, and Wade's brother, Brandon. We go upstairs, and Wade is just terribly drunk. He can't talk, he can't do anything, because we're only 16, and he's really drunk. We tell him that he needs to get up and get in the shower, because he for unfortunately puked himself, and he went to the bathroom all over himself. <laughs> He then proceeds to laugh when we tell him this, and his mom gets furious. Once we got him out of bed, my next punishment was to clean up Wade's mess. <laughs> so I was on my hands and knees cleaning Wade's puke and his bathroom mess. And that next day, we still went to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, and his mom made him walk around all day with us, and I'm pretty sure he never took his sunglasses off. So no matter how bad a situation can be, it will most, li most likely not be the end of the world. As long as everyone is safe and sound, life will go on. In a few years, you're going to look back at this incident and laugh the whole time while you're retelling it. I know we talk about it every time that all of us together and laugh. 